In this video, we will look at what happens in precipitation reactions. A precipitation reaction is one where two solutions of ionic compounds are mixed and a reaction occurs that produces a solid precipitate. By this stage of your chemistry career, you should have seen or done several examples of precipitation reactions. You might have referred to them as double displacement reactions. We'll use an example to explore precipitation reactions. Here we have two colorless solutions, a solution of sodium chloride on the left and a silver nitrate solution on the right. Let's mix them. And when we do, you can clearly see a cloud of white solid particles forming. If we left this solution to settle for a while, you would see that white solid gradually settle to the bottom of the beaker. So what's happening here? So let's see what's happening at a particle level. Our sodium chloride solution involved dissolving some sodium chloride crystals in water. Sodium chloride is an ionic compound made up of positive sodium ions represented by the blue circles and negative chloride ions, the green circles. As you should know, when these substances are dissolved in water, the ions dissociate. They separate from each other and float around independently in the water. We don't have any sodium chloride particles in the water. We have positive sodium ions and negative chloride ions all floating around independently of each other. Whether or not those ions were once bonded together to form salt crystals or not is actually quite irrelevant. We just have a mix of independent ions. Similarly, silver nitrate is made up of silver cations, the purple circles, and nitrate anions represented by the gray circles. Like most ionic substances, when we dissolve them in water, the ions separate and float around independently in the water. So again, there are no silver nitrate particles in the water. There are just independent silver ions and nitrate ions. So what happens when we mix the two together? Well, when we put the sodium in, that gives us a mix of sodium ions and chloride ions. When the silver nitrate is added, we now have silver ions and nitrate ions. We've got a form of ion soup, four different kinds of ions all floating around independently in water. Now you know that most ionic compounds are soluble in water. When you place them in water, the water molecules are able to slip between the, the ionic bonds between the, the ions and force them apart. But in some cases, the attraction between positive and negative ions is strong enough to overcome that ability of water to separate them. And that happens to be the case with silver ions and chloride ions. So what happens in this example is the silver ions and the chloride ions are attracted to each other strongly enough to overcome the ability of the water to keep them apart. And so they bond together to form little crystals of silver chloride. We call that a silver chloride precipitate because it precipitates or falls out of the solution. So we have a chemical reaction. We have a new substance that wasn't there at the beginning. The other product of our reaction is the remaining solution. We still have sodium ions and nitrate ions floating around in the water. So we now have a solution of sodium nitrate. Summing it all up then, when a solution of sodium chloride is added to a solution of silver nitrate, we get a solid precipitate of silver chloride and we're left with a solution of sodium nitrate. Of course, there are questions here. How do we know it was the silver chloride that precipitated out of solution and not a different combination of ions? Well, predicting the products of precipitation reactions is something we'll leave to a later lesson. The point of this video is just to explain what's happening in a precipitation reaction at the particle level.